doing it the right way, so we're going to have a vote. We've, we've had plenty of time for discussion. We've had time for discussion. I would so, like, there, there should be a retort to uh, Mr. Pitts' comment. Th there can be retorts all evening. At some point, we have to vote. So, that's, that's we, we understand the problem. Is that parliamentary that's 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 Yeah, we, we, we understand what the issue is. And it's going to be in an open forum. All these things are going to come up, and the board's going to vote on it in front of everybody. So I don't know what else we can say that it's going to be a proper uh, decision by the majority of the board members. Yes. So I've heard a call for a vote. Let's take a vote. Roll call. Roll call, please. Mr. Kovilka. And a yes means that we are going to proceed with his request? Is that, is that accurate? If I vote aye or yes, then I, yeah. I want him to have his, his emails responded to. Yes, he has his yeah. emails. The, he has to bring the emails forward yeah. in a concise manner so that we may all vote on them and then look at the issues exactly like the policy says. But if I vote no, then what does that mean? You're voting that against we're, bringing the emails forward. That we're not going to, we're, we're just going to shut them down? Is that basically, if, we, if this is, what I'm asking, is this the five votes currently to allow Lou to ask no, questions? All no. I wanted to do was bring forward all of the emails that you have been sent over the last couple months that have requested information that we have not voted on as a board. Bring those forward so we can go through them pursuant to policy and have a majority, have each board member say yay or nay, this is the, while using the legal fees as a request, we want to go forward and so, and use our district resources to answer this question and and go through <coughs> the emails. So Mr. President Plasso has asked that you know Luke can just tighten up the language so when you look at the email it says I want this yes. and this is my reason and then it just makes it much easier and we can go through them. So actually the policy is already in place and it applies to each and every one of us. What I'm asking is can we please bring forward all of these emails that have been sent and vote on them? We have not been asked to vote on them yet. They, all these issues are outstanding. And his requests have <coughs> not been answered because we haven't voted on them. And there's over, over 85 emails that need to be looked at. 85. That's all the that's been looked at. All right, thank you for that clarification. I vote yes. Okay, Mr. Clinton. Yes. Mr. Wright. Yes. Mr. Pierce. Yes. Mr. Reeves. Yes. Mr. Aliota. Yes. Mr. Bosco. Yes. Mr. DePlasto. Yes. And Mr. Hosford. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Anything else? Yes, Mr. President. Could I? I would like to make a statement here, if we can read it into the under board remarks before we break out. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're at remarks. We're at board remarks. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to um, read into the record the March 3rd Erie Times News did a survey. The survey asked, what are the four things you would um, worry you most upon your life? This was, this was published. The number one concern at 71% is jobs, e economy, and business. Of course, we, we know that 1,500 people so far have lost their jobs at General Electric. Okay? Number two is crime and safety at 45%. Number three is family at 41%. Number four is health care at 33%. Education lies at 15%. So according to this survey, 15% of the people are concerned about the education, but 71% of the people are concerned about the economy, their jobs, taxes, etc. So I just want to give you the heartbeat of our community per the Erie Times News that did a survey. Okay, so you guys know where we're at. Taxes, jobs, and the economy is what drives our community. Thank you. Anybody else? Board members? I just, uh, a couple comments. Uh, this is not a good day for the board, no matter what side of the fence anybody falls on. Um, this is, in my mind, an unprecedented, and I just feel that uh, I appreciate your confidence in, uh, in my leadership skills. Uh, we will follow the rules. We're not going to deviate from them. They're fine for us, and we're going to follow them. And we are going to move forward. We want to get all this behind us. We want to work as a team. There's no reason that we can't. And I think with everybody's cooperation, we will go forward as we've been elected to do. It's not us. It's the district. 
And we've got to keep our moral compass on the district. And that's it. We're going to have a difference of opinion on votes. That's normal. You probably want that. That's OK. But how you come to that reasoning is very important. You got to come to it with that moral compass. And I hope everybody does that. I encourage it. And I will communicate, and I hope you will communicate with me as to, as to what's going on, what are the issues, how can we make this place better. That's, where, that's why we're here. And we're going to work with the administration uh, to make sure that we're communicating that way so that we don't have any issues or uh, communication problems uh, on that realm. And we, we want to make sure we continue that. We've got a great team here, as you know, especially the ones that were, have been here. We've come a long way, and we're there right now. Believe it or not, we're in a good spot, okay? We just got to keep it going. And this is, this is what I want to do. This is what you should want to do. And we can do it as long as we team up and go forward. So again, I thank you for your confidence. Thank you, President. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Anything else? <clears throat> Yes, Mr. President. Um, uh, when you say communicate, yes, sir. Um, Mr. Hall uh, provided us uh, on January 7th with administrative regulation regulations information for board members, and in this document, it states uh, that the uh, board members uh, can re can. Uh, <coughs> email and correspond to each other and also to the superintendent's office. When administrative regulations are changed and all of a sudden uh, there's a change in the process by which we communicate, does that have to be approved by the board, number one? Number two, would it be an infringement and an abridging of our freedom of information, uh, of our freedom of speech to communicate with each other before it goes to that individual? It has to go through either Linda Sitter, Mr. Hall. I ask that question. Are we going to be answering those questions? Because it seems as if administrative regulations are changed, and we we have no idea how they are changed. I would suggest, Mr. Aliota, that you write that in a one sentence letter. <laughs> I wrote you it. Send it to me, and we are going to go forward. We'll bring it before the board. If there's changes to be made, we'll make them. School board directors have a responsibility to read. I don't text. I can't do it in 140 characters. Now, I've sent emails. I've requested uh, responses from the superintendent, and I have not received any from the I, superintendent. I'm sorry. I've been quiet the whole time. That is not true. How many? Oh, OK. All right. Hey, we're not going to get into Yeah, we're, OK. But OK. Anybody else have anything? Yeah, mm -hmm. write me a note. Just as we've discussed, okay. and we'll bring, we'll bring it up for uh, majority vote. Anybody else? Hearing none, take a motion to adjourn. Motion? Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, welcome to stay. Take a five minute break. Take a five minute break, we'll get, we'll get into committee meetings.